Welcome. Today, we're focusing on Lindenmayer systems, or L-systems. L-systems are incredibly versatile processors that allow us to model a broad range of structures from natural phenomena like plant growth and root systems to geometric and fractal patterns. In the realm of creative coding, they offer a way to generate interesting and complex patterns by rewriting sequences based on a few simple rules. In this video, we will walk through the fundamentals of understanding what L-systems are, how they work, and how to implement them in Python. In a follow-up video, we'll take things further by combining L-systems with Python's Music21 library to compose music. Let's create a simple example. The basis of an L-system is a set of symbols, typically represented by alphanumeric characters, accompanied by a set of production rules that dictate how each symbol should be transformed. For our example, we will use as symbols the characters A, B, and C. Our rules will specify that A should be rewritten as B, followed by C. B should be rewritten as C, and C should be rewritten as A. We must define an initial sequence of symbols called an axiom. We'll use a single character of A. By applying the production rules to the axiom, we can generate a new sequence of symbols, rewriting A as BC. This transformation process can then be repeated iteratively. With each iteration, the new generated sequence becomes the axiom and the production rules are applied again. The result of this iterative process can be interpreted in various ways depending on our intention. For instance, as drawing instructions to create geometric patterns or to compose musical sequences. Let's consider how to implement this in a new Python file. We'll need a main function, which will be called at the bottom of the script. Next, we'll create a function called Lindenmayer translation to handle the rewriting of an axiom according to the production rules of our L system. It will accept as its first argument a dictionary where each key is a symbol and each value specifies the corresponding transformation as a list of symbols. For its second argument, we must specify an axiom as a list containing the sequence of symbols to be transformed. Inside the function, we'll create a variable called translation to represent the transformed axiom. We'll initialize this using a list comprehension, creating a new list containing the original symbol for symbol in axiom. Subsequently, our function will rewrite only those symbols that appear in the rules. This approach ensures any symbol in the axiom that do not appear in the rules remain constant. To do this, we'll iterate over the symbols within the axiom with for i symbol in enumerate axiom. We'll check whether a rule has been defined for each symbol by using an if statement to check whether the current symbol is a key within the rules dictionary. If a rule exists, we can rewrite the symbol at the current index of translation. We obtain the correct transformation by keying into the rules dictionary with the current symbol. The transformed axiom is represented as a list of lists, but we will return a flattened version. Python's inbuilt sum function offers a concise and efficient way to achieve this. Whilst normally used to add numbers, sum can also concatenate lists. We will provide our nested list as the first argument and an empty list as the second argument. Since the second argument acts as a starting value, the function will create a flattened list by concatenating each list within translation to the empty list. We are ready to test our function in main. First, we'll create a dictionary to establish the rules for our L system and a list to serve as the axiom called my axiom. To generate an L system with 10 iterations, we'll use for i in range 10. Within the loop, we'll update the axiom to generate a new sequence based on the result from the previous iteration. We'll set the axiom to the output of our Lindenmayer translation function, passing in the rules defined in our dictionary and using the myAxiom variable as the axiom. Using the print function, we'll run the program to reveal the sequence generated by our L system. Our program implements a basic L system. Whilst it's capable of generating potentially interesting sequences, there are several ways we might enhance it further to yield even more complex and fascinating results. One variation is a table L system. Unlike the most basic type of L system, which utilizes a single set of production rules, TL systems employ a production table containing multiple sets of rules. 
Suppose, for instance, that our production table contains the rules from our previous example, along with a second set of rules where A is rewritten as C, B is rewritten as A followed by C, and C is rewritten as B. To determine which production rules are applied at each iteration, we need a selection mechanism. This can be designed according to our needs. It might be based on specific properties of the previous sequence, random selection, or simple alteration. Once the rules have been selected, the sequence of symbols can be rewritten according to the chosen rules. To encode this in our program, we'll define a second set of rules in another dictionary. Next, we'll create a list to contain both sets of production rules. For this example, the selection mechanism for choosing a rule from our table will be random. Therefore, we'll import the random module at the top of our script. When calling the Lindenmeyer translation function in main to generate our IL system, we'll use random.choice to randomly choose a rule from my rule table in each iteration. When running the program, our L system now dynamically switches between the different sets of production rules, thereby generating more varied sequences. The two L systems we have implemented can be described as context-free, meaning production rules are applied independently to each symbol without considering any other symbols in the sequence. We might imagine each symbol has its own identity, unfazed by its surroundings. Another type of L system is context sensitive. In these systems, whether a symbol is transformed and how it is rewritten depends on the context provided by its neighboring symbols. Production rules specify the contextual conditions required for a symbol to be rewritten. Consider, for example, a rule where the symbol A is rewritten as B if preceded by another symbol A. Here, the transformation of the symbol depends on its left neighbor being A. We might also formulate rules that depend on a symbol's right context, or both its left and right contexts. Furthermore, rules can consider multiple neighbours to the left or right. For example, A might only be rewritten as B when preceded by AB and succeeded by A. Let's modify our program to represent context-sensitive L systems. We'll define rules that consider each symbol's context using tuples as keys in our dictionary. Each tuple will include three parts, an initial nested tuple to represent a symbol's left neighbors, the symbol itself, and another nested tuple to represent the symbol's right neighbors. As before, values in the dictionary will be lists containing the symbol's transformation. This approach allows us to define context-sensitive rules flexibly. For example, if we want to include rules that specify neighbors at only one side of the symbol, we can do this with empty tuples. Within the Lindenmeyer translation function, we'll iterate over the axiom as before. Within this loop, we must compare each symbol to each key in the rules, accounting for the surrounding context. To do this, we'll use another for loop to iterate over each key in rules. We must then establish how many of the symbols surrounding symbols we must look at. We'll retrieve the symbol's left context by slicing into axiom from index i minus the length of the first tuple in the key up to index i. We'll create another slice to represent the current symbol's right context by slicing into axiom from i plus 1 up to i plus 1 plus the length of the final tuple in the key. We can check whether the current symbol, along with its context, matches the key with if tuple left context, comma, symbol, tuple right context equals equals key. Where this is true, we'll rewrite the symbol, as before, by keying into our rules dictionary with the current symbol. Our function should now transform a list based on the specified context-sensitive rules. In main, we'll define a new set of context-based rules and an axiom. Once again, we'll call our Lindenmeyer translation function to update the axiom within a loop and run the program to see printed to the screen how the axiom is transformed according to the rules of our context-sensitive L system. Beyond the examples we've covered today, there are even more variants that enhance the complexity and flexibility of L systems. In stochastic L systems, for instance, the outcome of each rewriting step is probabilistic. Parametric L systems incorporate parameters into the rules which modify how systems are interpreted. For example, if a symbol is meant to be rendered visually as a straight line, a parameter could determine the angle at which that line is drawn. Furthermore, variants can be combined to create more complex and nuanced systems. In the next video, we'll explore how to use L systems to generate music with Python and Music21. Be sure to leave your feedback, thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.